So what are you doing here? Uh, I just found out that I have to paint something, and being that I don't actually know how to make any art, this is gonna be interesting. All right, so we're on the way to go meet up with this guy, Matty Mo, who goes by the moniker, the most famous artist. You know, Matty has built a pretty massive following, mostly using social media. He has 90,000 Instagram followers, and he made what he says is the most Instagram mural ever. So we're gonna spend a couple days with him, watch him as he makes art out of flea market finds and tries to capitalize on Kanye West and Bernie Sanders' internet currency. But mostly, we're gonna try and figure out if he's actually a social media art savant or a swindler. So one of the main ways the most famous artist is making money is selling altered paintings on Instagram. So we followed him to a flea market where he gets his supply of old paintings. We're gonna look for parking pretty close to the front because we're gonna load up a lot of paintings into the van today. Hey guys, come in or go on? Okay. Can I make an offer? Sure. $40? Wow. No. Okay, <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, I think I had a hundred and a quarter on it. Would you do 25 for this? I would. I want to do a deal with you. 130. <laughs> <laughs> 60 each, and then I take them off your hands. But um, you don't include the original work? You don't leave any of the No, I do, work? I do. Like, in that particular piece, I might paint, like, a mega yacht on the horizon, and then it becomes, like, this piece of contemporary art that yeah, yeah. people really like. I'd probably put, like, a Celine or Hermes or Louis Vuitton or something like that. 25. 25. <laughs> 30. Okay. So after the flea market, Maddie almost immediately turns one of his finds into a painting and then posts it on Instagram where he almost immediately sells it. So I hit up this woman, Haley, who bought the painting. She is an actual real art collector uh, living in New York City and she usually spends like way more money on art. I just, there's something about those dipped pictures that just are very um, sort of funny and, and like a little bit of a wink and I saw that one and I saw that it was for sale. So I, I emailed them and I asked if I could buy it. Um, I'd rather find something like that at, on Instagram for $750 than something ridiculous at Basel for, you know, $750,000 that's, you know, rubbish. Maddie's actually only been an artist for a couple of years before becoming the most famous artist. God, it sounds so dumb to say. Uh, he was a tech entrepreneur who started a company when he was in college, sold it, and started another one at all in his mid-20s. And then uh, things went south. I was running a company that I had just started called Alpha Boost. I had fundraised a million dollars from top-tier venture capitalists, had a really talented team, uh, and made the deliberate decision to sell the business. I thought because I had money and power, I was the man. And that led to me getting totally blackout hammered on a trip to India to go on a, a geek, geek trip with a bunch of other tech entrepreneurs. What do you think about India? Dude, I think like we should all be friends. And um, that incident was filmed and I became known as the drunk naked founder and that ended up killing my business. So we're at Bergamot Station about to drop off these two pieces for a group show that's happening tomorrow. Earlier in the day, I was uh, helping a friend deliver some art and then asked the curator if I could put some art in it. She initially said no, and I said, well, what if I promote the show to my 90,000 Instagram followers? And she was like, bring us, bring some pieces on by. I wanted to get an outside opinion on Maddie, so I spoke with this guy, Stefan Simkowitz, who is a big deal curator, collector, and thinker in the fine art world, to see if artists like the most famous artists should be taken seriously at all. When I look at um, the most famous artist, I I almost feel like some of his work, like the, the main critique I have of it is it's too easy. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say it's too easy or too difficult. There's a lot of Mark Rochan's work, who is a, who's the most successful painter in America uh, since Jasper Johns, is easy work. It's really easy work. It's great. It's not that it's too easy, uh, the work. It, it, you know, I don't want to make an opinion because I really I don't know Maddie Mo's work, so I, I don't want to go on record and on tape saying anything, but it may just be not good. In, instead of me analyzing whether he's a good artist or a bad artist, I think what's the most interesting is here's a guy who has been able to build himself an audience and that's an amazing thing 
and do that using the devices that are available to him in today's sort of 21st century economy. It's a it's an extraordinarily democratic process and I think something that the fine art world really can learn a lot from. The most famous artist promotes himself by painting murals that are geared towards social media. His selfie wall, he claims, was one of the most Instagram walls ever. And today he's working on something else that he thinks will spread. Have you seen the new Kanye album? The okay. new Yeah, the new Kanye album cover. The Life of Pablo? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? I'm gonna show you what we're making right now. Yeah, please do. Oh, nice. I was like looking at Kanye West Twitter and I was like, dude, this guy is just gonna keep on getting attention. So I might as well do something. I've been meaning to do a Bernie Sanders wall. So it's like, why not take the Life of Pablo album, which is meant to be kind of a memeified thing, right. and turn it into a Bernie Sanders wall? Uh, how much of this do you want people to look at it and say, um, I'm gonna vote for Bernie Sanders now? Look, people are going to vote for whoever they want to vote for. I'm making this because I know it's going to photograph well and it's going to spread online and it has a message and it's going to be talked about. Making art isn't hard, but most people think it is. And like, I learned all the stuff that I'm doing here online by watching videos. All right? Everyone from a poet to a mathematician can interpret an image. And the more images out there with positive and interesting messages, the more interesting the world becomes. Um, so hopefully people look at this and think to themselves, I could have done that. And the message is good, go do it. I guess that's the point is art, art is supposed to make you feel something, whether good or bad. It's supposed to make you feel something. And so long as people are reacting, at least in a visceral sense to what I'm doing, I think it's art. Maddie's idea for the burning wall from just a cursory search on Instagram does seem to be spreading. I think most people are just going to be skeptical about this guy, possibly for his whole career. And it's partly because he has, you know, grandeur on the mind. He calls himself the most famous artist and he's hoping it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. But I guess time will tell whether that's true or not. glance if you were to judge this book by its cover you think this guy is a lot like Kanye West an egotistical asshole uh, you know and that's what the brand represents to the untrained eye uh, but if you dig a little deeper there's something there hopefully that's the intention at least